<laughs> All right. Okay, so Rho Sabot uh, exerts 1.2 newtons of force for 1.135 meters on a 0.35 kilogram mass air track glider. Uh, it's initially at rest. What's its final velocity? So, so here's this oops, <laughs> failure to draw a straight line. Right? So basically, there's there's there, there's some force times a distance, right? Right, and then in the end, this thing is going to be uh, going some velocity, right? Okay. So our options are, I think here we've got a force and a distance. This is definitely a one to one, right? So the only asset we've got is force times distance. We don't have any, right? We don't have any um, MGH because there's no hill. It's not moving to begin with, right? Because it's initially at rest. So all we have on the left side is force times distance. And then on the right side, it's moving, right? We could have force times distance plus MGH plus one half mv squared, right? Uh, there's no force that slows us down. It didn't go up a hill. All we've got is that it's moving, right? So we go one half mv squared. Now we just plug numbers in, right? So 1.2 times 0.135 is one half times 0.345 times v squared. And this is you know, a little bit tricky math, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to take this side here. I'm going to go 1.2 times 0.135, and then I'm going to multiply by two times two, divide by 0.345, and now I've got uh, 0.939 is v squared. Now I just take the square root of that, right? And if I square root that, I somehow get. Uh, 0.969. Okay. So this is the one-to-one. -one. This is work becomes kinetic energy.